right, World of Warships. <clears throat> uh, initial gameplay. Never, never played this game before. Just uh, went into beta recently. Uh, open beta, that is. Uh, it's been in beta for quite some time. Lots of videos on YouTube. Um, really good looking game. I mean, look at the water here. Look at the graphics on the model here. Um, this is the starter ships. Uh, I have not upgraded anything. Literally just started this game and wanted to record the very first impression um, of what I'm seeing. Um, and again, look at look at these models. I mean, these are really good models. I was uh, I was I was expecting this since I have been watching a lot of the YouTube videos that are out there already, um, showing how good this looks and. Uh, I'm just excited to give this a give this a try. Um, I haven't done any tutorials. Not really sure how to play the game. <laughs> Not sure how to do anything. Um, but I feel like let's just jump in and see what happens. Not even sure what the controls are going to be. Um, I'm assuming up, down, left, right, <laughs> and uh, mouse to control view. We are going to see if that is the case or not. That's pretty good looking. Battle starts. That's really good looking, so. Oh, yeah, it's a forward full. You can see over here, towards the bottom left there, uh, the controls, compass, um, your speeds. Looks like they're variable three fourths, half, quarter, stop, full, reverse, etc., etc. That fires. So yeah, I don't know what I just did there, but I did something. <laughs> looks like we have a radar on the bottom, and it looks like we're going to try and capture a flag point. I'm assuming this is pretty much just kill um, the enemy. I know they have a couple different mission types in this game. targets. Really sure what the zoom function in key is. And we just got hit. That sounded pretty cool. I feel like we need to head into it more so we're a smaller profile. Oh, uh, turning there totally might have just saved us. out again, make our profile smaller.
did not last very long. Um, I definitely need to figure out what the zoom function is. But let me do a little bit of spectator here. Let's uh, kind of see how some of the other people who may have been playing it um, are going to play this. Let's go zoom on over here and see what's happening. Nothing really going on over there. Let's see what's going on over here. It's pretty cool looking, but it looks like it's been pretty beat up. Damage model looks pretty interesting. Um, I do like I do like their models. Uh, you know, from the little bit I've already got to see. I like the way the water model works. It's very nice. I'm just kind of really interested in in watching some of these guys that are not a Obviously survived much longer than I did. That's a really cool little effect. Can't believe that guy over there is still going. Look at that. Very damaged. Sinking model looks pretty neat too. Just again, very impressed with that. <laughs> well, it's pretty 
pretty much just him left. <laughs> oh man. WTF indeed. guy here. Some nice missed shots. I got a hit there. I mean, start getting along for a broadside here. Ah, uh, it looks like maybe we timed out. <laughs> but hey, we got some, uh, we got some points, whatever that means. So let's go back to the port here. Kind of feel like we need a tutorial, or we need to um, really kind of figure out some of the controls here. Because one of the issues I was having was um, not knowing how to zoom. So let's see here. Controls. Maybe in settings. Ah, yes. So let's look at the controls. Port or starboard, great. Speed up, speed down, port, fine. This isn't going to be to switch your ammo, okay. Consumables, camera, artillery camera, left shift, right shift. Quick view, V. Show height interface, track object is Z. Fire, lock target, right mouse button, okay, that's good, no. X, track shell, middle mouse button, okay, found that out by accident. Zoom for the map. Camera frame camera, so shift. Fire on target. Highlight target for allies. We're going to cube key that just because I'm used to that. There. Okay, let's go ahead and apply that. Let's see if we learned anything from that. Okay, so there's the the gaming recon asking my opinion. He's doing the download right now. We're gonna try and get some co-op um, footage of this. I'm sure we're both gonna be completely completely horrible at it, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and try and jump into another battle if we can here. Hopefully that's him saying he's got it downloaded. Islands domination. So this looks like okay. So this is more like a catcher point one. Okay. General quarters. I guess we're gonna head to the A point first, cause that just like seems the right thing to do. So here we go. Now you can definitely see it looks like the guns track very slowly on this one and you can see the multiple reticles there for for their target and try and play this by not going straight towards the enemy this time
It's gonna take a while for those rear guns to come flinging around. Whew. Oh yes, I'm kind of surrounded already here. to this island. I believe that's the warning for we're getting really close to something we're going to hit. Torpedoes go swimming by. I definitely don't have the targeting thing now whatsoever. Hey, look at that, we got a kill. That's surprising. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. kill and um, we did some damage and we are now sinking fabulously sinking and just texting the game and reeking trying to get him in there oh, look it leaves a little oil slick even it's uh, probably bad for the environment Luckily, it's virtual. Oh, man, look at that guy. Pretty beat up there. And again, I just can't get over, you know, it's really good models. I mean, if War Thunder has taught us anything, that uh, some of these free-to-play games now are, are developed with, uh, you know, really good quality of graphics in, in mind now. And uh, some of that, uh, those feelings we had for just free-to-play games now being a triple A quality and stuff uh, slowly slowly getting chipped away at Just take a 
hops around and see what some of these other ships are doing. Again, trying to get some uh, tips on how to play this game. One thing I'm having a problem with is aiming at range. And I seem to have seen in the videos where you get to have a view where it's um, through a scope or so. Haven't quite figured that out yet. Oh, look, this guy. Look at those torpedoes go. That that looks really good. I feel like that's going to hit. Oh, ha, ha, that was that was beautiful. I see you there. How's it going, buddy? Um, I'm not sure which. This ship is a uh, St. Louis. I, I have already died, unfortunately. Um, so I'm mostly just spectating um, the rest of the guys that were in my match. Trying to maybe get some advice on um, how they're playing. Uh, I did sink one ship before I died. So I felt very, very good. But, uh, I definitely had positional issues. But, uh, as I'm dead... As I'm dead and kind of watching these guys, not just for tactics, but just, just to view these models, and just and how good that is. I mean, look at that fire and that smoke. So, I believe we may have lost that. But... I got points for destroying something. That, that makes me pretty excited there. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. I don't know how big of an install this game is. I actually didn't pay attention to that, um, which is a good question, and um, it would definitely be worth looking into because I'm sure um, that people may want to know details like that. Um, I haven't used my other starter ship here. What, what ship is this? This is a uh, Hashidate? Hashidate? I should probably Hashidate. I probably said that really wrong. Um, and then we have an Eerie. These are the two starter ships. Oh, they're the starter ships, so they're, they're probably like the... Uh, it's like, hey, you know, you're not that good, so we're letting you have the ships that we've decommissioned already. So here you go. <laughs> um, you're just lucky that we put some life uh, raft, uh, rafts on there and... Uh, we really don't expect you to get out alive, so those are probably just for show and made of cardboard. So that's the feeling of the boats that I that they have given us. I mean, look at all that wood. I'm sure that wood is going to be super effective for blocking the artillery shells that are going to be coming at me. So, but yeah, look at those details. I mean, you can see the uh, the propeller running down there. Um, the water looks really good. You know, I, I'm pretty impressed uh, with what I'm seeing, uh, again, for a free-to-play game. Uh, the quality of these games is just getting better and better and better for people. And, you know, they, you know, I've, I've actually spent money on some of these games um, before because the games are so good. And they, they give you so many hours of, of gameplay that you kind of want to give back a little bit and maybe also get some nice, uh, nice gifts out of it there, like premium items. So let's go ahead and jump into another one. See how fast I can die this time. I may need a white flag of surrender. <laughs> this is like naval battleship porn. So it looks like this is a capture map. All right, we're going to go full forward. I think I'm going to try and stay with the group a little more this time. I feel like that's what I've been doing wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the game. I haven't looked at any of the upgrade ships or ships to purchase yet um, since... 
since I've only done a couple maps, I haven't even gone up a level yet that I'm aware of. There are carriers in the game from what I've seen from videos, and they can launch planes, which do a lot of damage. I've seen some gameplay where some of the smaller ships carry a scout plane and you can launch that to try and scout out enemy opponents. Um, there are torpedoes in the game. Um, the ships do have automated uh, anti-air fire that I've seen, so you don't have to control the anti-air fire, it just kind of happens automatically. Oh, look, there's a target right there. No way that's going to hit, but... Whatever. Again, I haven't figured out the zoom yet. On how to zoom. I've seen people being able to zoom with uh, targeting sites. I, I, I have not figured that out yet. Something we definitely need to look up. <laughs> Shift key doesn't seem to do anything for me, so it might be something that's not available on this ship or something. But yeah, but the shift key seems to do nothing for me, so... Oh wait, what? double tap it maybe. Oh, double tapping maybe, that seemed to have done something. I got a hit. Guy's already dead. Well, it's whatever. It's target practice. I'm okay with that. Uh, these leads. There's a. You know, there's a lot of lead. And again, figuring out that distance. Not quite figured that out yet. We're getting there, though. All right, let's see if we can stay with this other ship. <laughs> oh, we just avoided that. some hits. That's right, show me your side. Which also means it's more dangerous for me, but... I've also got a friend helping us here. Oh yeah, we're doing good damage. This guy's nearly dead. There we go. 
There we go. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can full forward out towards, keep up with this other guy that we're kind of using as a distraction. Because he looks bigger than us. Looks like we got a guy all on his own over there. Holy cow. This will be the first match I'll live through, it looks like. Which is pretty exciting in and of itself. shot off on this guy before he goes down. <laughs> Alright, well there you go. The first three uh, rounds in World of Warships for a brand new noob player like myself. And uh, it started out very poorly. But we ended on a high note. Uh, we were able to get a, a ship destroyed, not die, which is always key in these type of games i found. And uh, we earned some points here, so uh, hopefully we'll start getting some levels here and we'll be able to talk about some new ships. Um, so again, starting ships. Oh, look, random battles. There's some points. Um, starting ships looks like the Eerie and the Hashidate. Um, and that's pretty much what you guys should expect to see if you go ahead and start playing this. Uh, hopefully we're going to get uh, the Game and Recon in here now. And we can kind of chat together and talk a little bit about this, get some of his first impressions as soon as we can get him on here, and maybe try some combat and see how well we do. Um, obviously, uh, I have a little more experience than he does now, so I'm totally expecting to do way better than him, and we'll see what he has to say about that. So, uh, again, I want to shut this stream down and uh, appreciate anyone who gets a chance to watch this. Please comment on what you think of the game if you're trying the game, um, if you're looking to play with people. Um, I am in the game as Sold Out. And the Gaming Recon, I don't think has an account yet, so we will get that information to you guys as well. So, thank you.